Hey, 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 welcome to Shopping with Cheryl. And today I've got for you the Viva air filter. And yes, it's a good sized air filter and I will measure it out for you. Let's see if you have the base on it. I'll show you how to take that off in a minute. It is about 23 inches tall. So it is fairly tall, but that's good. It does have the base on it that yes, you can take off. And I want to show you a few other great things. This is going to get rid of the smoke, the pet dander, the pollen. You know that pollen that comes in? It comes in on your clothes. It comes in on your pets. It just comes in. And while well, there's pollen outside, there's pollen inside. And if you're like me, you've got the eyes, the nose, the whole bit going. Well, I'm not going to deal with that anymore. So here you go. I'm going to show you about the filters. The top, the front, I guess it is, just comes off. It has hooks on the top you just set those in the bottom is attached by a magnet so you don't have to like pop it in and off where you're worried about breaking it it just simply goes on and off now i'm going to show you a trick about it too that i learned the hard way when you go to put it back on if your air filter won't turn on it's probably that but i'll show you in a second now inside i've got a little ribbon here this is a charcoal filter it comes with four charcoal filters and behind this charcoal filter is the HEPA filter. Now something cool about this is the lines here are Velcro. So when you put your charcoal filter on, you don't have to try to figure out how am I going to get that closed without this moving around, falling out. It sticks just like that. You're going to take it and put it in. Make sure your little ribbon is facing out so that you can grab it to pull it out. Otherwise, it's a pain in the hiney. I should know. All right, so here's what I want to tell you is when you go to put this on, if it's not tight and you, let me pull it out just a little bit, and you turn it on, there's nothing happen. So what you want to do is make sure it is on there and it's kind of snapped. It must have a sensor because when I tried it earlier, that's what my problem was. <clears throat> so, I told you about how tall it was. Let me see about the cord because I had to plug it in way over there. And so we've got at least 69 inches. And that's not an exact. That's just a, a roundabout. Okay. So, when I was telling you about the base, this, if you want, can stand up or... It comes with three suction cups you can put on a side. So if you want to lay it down on a table, that way you've got suction cups so it's not flat on your, your nice table. And you can take the bottom off. There's a button. You push it and you pull, slide that base. It's a little harder for me to do here on camera and with that cord where it is. But... And the base comes off. So that way you've got another way you can use this so it's not taking up this way. Maybe so the kids or the dogs don't tump it. And I'm sure if you've got a cat, that will be the one to go over there and knock it. Try and knock it over if nothing else. All right, we're going to set this bad boy up. On the top, you've got an on and off and three different levels. Now the air is going to get sucked in the front, blow out the back. Let me see if I've got this on here right. And <coughs> all right, here we go. I've got a piece of, this is a thick shoestring. It was purple. I figured you could see it. And so you can kind of see this is on level one. So as you can tell, there's some airflow coming through if you hear it on my mic, like I said, I'm right here and I've got the lapel mic. So you're not sitting across the room. What you hear is right next to it. So there's number one. We're going to turn it up. There is number two and it is putting out a good bit more air, which means it's sucking in more air, more dust, more smoke, more pet dander. And we can crank it up. And there is number three. Oh yes, it is, it is blowing now. I'll try to block the mic a little bit, but 
this is level number three. I'll turn it around so it's not blowing at me, but it's still on. So like I said, I'm right here with the lapel mic. You can hear it, but it is not terribly loud. In fact, to me, it's something that sounds good when you go take a nap, maybe go to sleep, and it is working hard for you. So, I wanted to show this to you because that pollen, that pet dander, all that stuff, you can help get rid of it right now. And I will have an affiliate link for this in the description below. If you use my affiliate link and make a purchase, I may make a commission. And if you're wondering, yes, I have to say this, that's part of FTC. I don't say it and I'm in trouble. I also have a link in the description to my Amazon Live where I'd love if you'd follow me over there. The more followers I get, the more important Amazon thinks I am. So when I go live, they kind of give me a little boost. So I greatly appreciate that. I also have different products that I show on Amazon Live here on YouTube. I put them out a little slower, whereas over on Amazon Live, especially when there are specials and discounts, things like Prime Day, Black Friday, all of that, you're going to be able to see those specials right then. So be sure to do that. And I will see you in the next video. I'm going to move this over in the other room, let it get to work, and see if I can stop this snotting and sneezing. <laughs>